In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a slide out menu for a website. Now this is going to use CSS transitions and we're going to get a pretty cool effect like this. Um, so what's actually happening is this is sliding out and the content is um, overflowing onto, you know, sort of away from the page. So this is a, a navigation that you would access just by tapping on this toggle here uh, and this is part of the header of the page so this could be a little icon that sort of signifies you know I want to show a menu and then this goes out and you can see here that we've got a side menu and uh, this will work nicely on mobile and tablet devices as well uh, or you could just include this functionality on mobile and tablet devices um, but yeah this this functionality basically uses CSS transitions so we're not using JavaScript to animate this we're gonna have a nice smooth as you can see nice smooth CSS transition um, and then you can go ahead and control the speed and the easing as you as you need to but this is basically what we're going to be building uh, so we can head over to our text editor now to start this up Okay, so over in our text editor, we're going to go ahead and mark up the page, uh, create the elements that we need and see how these look. And then we're gonna go ahead and style this so we get the effect that we want to see, both when this is uh, in and out, uh, so slid in and or sliding out and then back in again. So we'll go ahead and create in the styles for this and then we'll go ahead and add the animation. And we'll also create the, uh, the very small book piece of JavaScript functionality we need to go ahead and toggle the menu. So let's go ahead and um, create our markup for our page. So we'll use an HTML5 doc type. We're going to be using HTML5 elements here. Uh, we'll go ahead and create a head and a body. And inside of the head, let's go ahead and add a few things. The first thing being a title. Obviously this is uh, entirely up to you what this will be um, on your site. I'm just going to call this slide out menu. What we're also going to need is to link in our style sheet. Now at the moment we don't have any style sheets so let's create a new folder called CSS and then we'll go ahead and create a new file within this called main.css and then we'll go ahead and link these um, link this style sheet in so we can actually go ahead and use the styles within this. So we say link and we use the rel attribute to tell uh, the page what this is and it's a style sheet and then we use href to point to the style sheet so that's in css forward slash main dot css also then going to go ahead and create um, a meta tag um, and the name the attribute a uh, name attribute for this is viewport and we give uh, we specify the content so we specify a width and a scale as well and this allows our page to be viewed nicely on a on a smaller device like a mobile or something like that so we'll go ahead and say meta name viewport so that's the name attribute and the content for this is going to be width equals device width uh, so that will sort of give a sort of standard width to this and then we say initial scale is one. Um, we can go ahead and add other properties to this, but we'll uh, we'll just include this now because it then allows you to sort of preview this on your phone. Okay, so um, what what we're going to go ahead and do now is create our header within that, create our toggle uh, anchor element, and then go ahead and create our nav as well, and then we'll start to style these up. So header. And inside here, we need to go ahead and create our nav. So we use the nav element. And um, this is just gonna, you know, contain this is a side menu or something like that. Uh, you would obviously go ahead and include your actual menu items here. And we need to go ahead and create this toggle. So this is going to just say toggle. Although, of course, this could be an image or an icon, a font icon or something like that. So the href is just gonna be hash. We're not you know, this doesn't need to actually lead anywhere. And uh, we'll go ahead and specify a class for this as well. So this is going to be menu toggle. And basically what this class allows us to do is pinpoint this anchor so we can actually trigger the sliding of the menu. Um, now, to be able to do this, we also want to give the nav a class as well. So we want to give this a class of menu side, just so we can target this with CSS. We want to go ahead and style this up. Uh, we also need to give a class to the body 
And what this is basically going to allow us to do is, it's going to allow us to set specific CSS properties on the body, because remember with the body, we need to have this slide um, over with the nav. So as the nav slides over, we want the body to slide over as well, and then hide the content on the right hand side. So it sort of has a, a whole page sliding effect. Um, so we need to add a class to that and we'll be adding a class to this with JavaScript um, to sort of signify the action of we want the uh, menu to appear and then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, you know use transitions to start uh, to animate this. So we've got all the classes we need for now we don't need to do anything else here so let's hop over to main.css and start to actually uh, you know write some content here and uh, and style this up. So um, the navigation, uh, let's go ahead and style this first, so na uh, menu side. Um, we basically want to give this a fixed position so it's always on the left hand side and you know a page can be scrolled down as necessary. Um, and we also want to go ahead and give this a background color and things like that. So let's go ahead and just do that first. So background color, I'm going to give this a background color of just 333, so like a dark uh, gray if you like. Uh, we'll also go ahead and give this a right border of one pixel solid and black, just sort of define the border. And we'll need to bear this border in mind when we do our positioning because it's one pixel more than the actual width of this item. So we need to uh, in include that extra pixel as well, so that's quite important. We'll also go ahead and set a color uh, of white to this, so anything within it will be white. So let's go ahead and refresh. Now it doesn't look great at the moment because we've got a few additional things to do. And we'll go ahead and we'll do these within the browser just because it makes it a little bit easier to see what we're doing so we're not stuck in our text editor. So at the moment with menu side, you can see the styles that we've already written here. Uh, the last one we did was color. What we now want to do is go ahead and start looking at the positioning and, and where this is gonna be positioned. So I'm gonna say position fixed. Now that hasn't done much, but when we go ahead and say top zero and we say left zero which will be changing in just a moment you can see that that now stacks at the top left uh, what we also want to do is go ahead and uh, give this a width so I'm going to choose a width of 210 pixels so that looks a you know a good a good width for that and we also want to go ahead and set the height to a hundred percent so it fills the entire um, height of the page now let's go ahead and give this some padding as well of 10 pixels. Now the reason I've given this a height of 210 is this now has a, a total, uh, sorry, a width of 210. This now has a total width of 230 because we've got padding 10 pixels left and 10 pixels right. If we go ahead and check out the um, the uh, sort of box model of this, you can see that we've got padding of 10, 210, and then the total size of this, if we just inspect it and hover over, is 231. So we've now got a 230 pixel wide menu with a one pixel border. So remember, we have to bear that one pixel in mind. So now that we've got our styles, let's go ahead and just uh, copy these and paste these into our style sheet. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we need to do here because we don't want the menu to appear like this by default. We want the, the menu to appear um, basically hidden. So what we do is we're gonna go ahead and modify the left property and we're not gonna include this, uh, we're not gonna have this as zero. We're gonna have this as a minus value. That's gonna be minus 231 pixels, uh, 231. So what that does is it means that it's now hidden right down to just before the body. So if I was to, do that as 230 you can just see it appearing at the side there so we want it at minus 231 that just nicely hides it so let's go ahead and amend our style sheet so minus 231 pixels and now we have a navigation that looks nice but is hidden so that's fine that's what we want we only want it to appear when we hit the toggle now what we need to bear in mind is things like the body um, so I'm going to go ahead and create a class here called menu. Um, now when our, our body shifts over to the left, so we're going to give a, uh, a left value of 231 to the body when a specific class is applied. So we'll just look at how this works for now. So for the menu, I'm going to say overflow I want to be, or overflow x rather, to be hidden. So on the x-axis, when this um, uh, cannot fit within its container, which is the body, um, it will hide itself, so it will just hide any data. As we saw earlier, there was a lot of text on the page, and that just got hidden. 
Uh, we also want to go ahead and set a relative positioning to this. Um, and uh, we want to go ahead and set left to zero. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what this has done. Okay, so nothing's happened at the moment. If we hover over body, these properties have been applied. But because we've got a value of left zero, nothing's happened. It stayed in exactly the same place. If we were to go ahead and set a value of 231 pixels to this, you'll see that the whole body shifts over. Now let's go ahead and just place some text within the body just so we can see how this overflow works. So I'm going to go ahead and just under my header I'm going to put these two paragraphs of text. You can go ahead and generate them or put your own text in. But now we see that this uh, naturally just sort of fits within the page. But when we go ahead and change this value to 231 you see that this basically essentially cuts off. It doesn't wrap down, it cuts off. And we can see that by just adjusting this. So that's the overflow hidden property. Uh, if we didn't have that there, you'd see we get this sc horrible scroll bar and that's not what we want. So now that we've got that, we want to make a class that specifically uh, applies this left value. And that will basically be the trigger of when we uh, use JavaScript. So we say menu open, and that's going to be applied to the, the body. So we say left two, three, one pixels. So now what's going to happen is when we have menu, menu open, that's going to shift the body across like that. So that's the sort of menu open state. And when this is removed, it goes back to normal. So obviously what we now need to do is when we've got the menu open state there, we want to go ahead and we want to show this nav. So that's fairly straightforward. We just do a, uh, a descendant selector on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to say menu open, which remember is the class that's applied to the body, and an element called menu side within that, which is our lovely menu we've built, will then have a left of zero, which will mean that it will then be visible. So now when we hit uh, refresh, you can see that we've got uh, this as a, as a left property of zero here because we've got the menu open class attached to here we've still got all our padding nicely here but this has moved over 231 pixels so now what's going to happen is when I remove this menu it open class it all just goes back to normal so what we really need to do is toggle now needs to add this menu open or toggle this menu open class on the body element so that's basically what we need to do on that side of things. Now we have our menu styled and our body styled so it can be shifted over. We're going to move on to actually animating this slide out menu.